Okay, in this video we're going to talk about number two from the 2015 Calc AB exam. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward uh, area volume type problem. And then part C is a little different, but not really. Um, so uh, first thing, we have f of x, we have g of x, and then they provide a graph for you. I, I strongly believe that when they provide a graph, it's so that you can enter the functions on your calculator graph it in a window that's very close to the window you seem to be looking at and see if you've done everything correctly. Because um, on these questions, if you enter the function incorrectly, you're just kind of doomed. Uh, so the first thing you should have done is uh, define these functions uh, on your calculator. And the next thing you should have done is uh, graph them. And the window that I used was uh, negative 0.2 to 3 on the x and negative 1 to 5 on the y. Produces a, a graph that looks very close to the graph that they give you. Um, you can see r and s. And what's most important is you can figure out which function's which, which isn't so bad. Uh, I'm going to highlight them in the appropriate colors. Uh, so there you can see that's f of x, and the other one is g of x. And you need to know that so that you know uh, which one's the top and the bottom, and you can kind of go from there. Uh, so the first question is to find the sum of the areas of the regions. Well, I need to know that intersection point to be able to do that. So f of x equals g of x. Uh, I use the graph. Uh, gave me that x is approximately uh, that number, 1.032831888. Uh, I stored that on my calculator as a. Um, and also on my work, I would just say that that equals a, and now I'm going to use a instead of rewriting that number over and over. So I need to do uh, the total area. It's going to be the integral from 0 to a. And on this integral, you can see uh, g of x is above f of x, so top take away bottom, like that plus uh, the integral from a to 2 of, on this interval, f of x is above g of x. And then I had the calculator just do that whole thing for me, and I got 2.004. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you want to avoid trying to do the integral from 0 to 2 of the absolute value of f of x minus g of x. I think that that just, like, outright didn't work on my calculator when I tried it. Um, I mean, you're always free to try it, but I, th I think the way we just did this is a much better option. Uh, so let's move on to the next part. So in the next part, uh, we're only looking at the region S, and we are told that we're going to build some solid there, and uh, cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis um, are going to be uh, squares. So I'm going to draw a little segment that's perpendicular to the x-axis. That's, that's the side of a square. Uh, so the side of my square is going to be uh, top take away bottom. So f of x minus g of x. And that means that the area of a cross section is going to be that thing squared. So f of x minus g of x quantity squared. So the volume will just be the integral from a to 2 of the area of a cross section. So like that. And then you punch it into your calculator, and your calculator tells you 1.283. Uh, so not really very bad. Uh, the next question is, I don't know, it's, it, I don't remember seeing something like this on the AP exam. Um, but it tells you that uh, H is the vertical distance between the graphs of F and G. Um, so H is just going to be uh, F of X minus G of X, because that would tell you the vertical distance. Um, and we want the rate at which H changes with respect to X when X equals 1.8. Well, that's asking us to find H prime of 1.8 h prime of 1.8 is going to be f prime of 1.8 minus g prime of 1.8. And my calculator told me that was negative 3.812. And uh, that's the whole problem. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.